where I fish in the Everglades, the water is very tan, very tea colored. Most of the time, you we're looking for a shadow in the water. See the light? Right here. Way up there, yeah. So when I came to the Keys, the crystal clear water, I'm so hopped up. I'm thinking, man, I'm going to see everything. I'm going to see this fish a mile away because if I can see a fish in the tannic water of the Everglades, this is going to be a no brainer. You know, lo and behold, when I come here, I can see everything all right. I can see everything moving. The sea fans, the, the, the ripples going this way, the currents going this way, the boats moving this way, and it's like sensory overload. Pick it up, go left and drop it. Up here at 10? Yeah. Wake, wake up! Ah! It, it's, it's, it's different, Thank you, sir. you know, in the Keys. You got a man up, but man, what a wonderful time. Some of the things that I got to see were just breathtaking. Wow, that's just so cool. I got him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh right. boy. <laughs> Slowly, slow, barely move it. That's how you wait, do it. wait, barely move it, barely move it, move it, got Good job, man. That's how you do it. <laughs> nice speed. That's why we come, boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wait, tick, 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 out. Wow. What a bike. God, that was cool. Pull on that thing. Now here comes up jumping, Paula. <laughs> Whoa! Gold Cup grip. Gold Cup grip. Oh, no. oh W-F-U-N-K, better known as We Funk the Mind. <laughs> I love that. Every day I fish, I have an idea what I want to do, but the weather is what controls what you do. Running out, the way the morning was looking looked a little rough for Jeff and I. We were kind of dodging storms, you know, making uh, alternative plans while they're happening. Just, you know, okay, okay, we're going further east. Okay, we're going further east. All right, we got to go even further east. Stop, radar, check. And then we finally get to an area where the storms kind of just dissipated, split around us. We're obviously now back into his expertise. It's nice to finally get out here and go fishing with you. God, we've only been talking about it for, I don't know how many years now. Well, I've always followed your career even since I was a little kid. The stuff you used to do with Dave Tepper and all that, all these cool little videos. I mean, right, that was like the first real high-end fly fishing like clips and it just got me super jacked up to do it. Just, you know, it's the time spent with your boys and you have, you know, an idea. And it's not about the end result, it's about, you know, the road getting there. Absolutely. You know, the laughs you share on the way, the little things that you see. Captain Jeff Legutke has spent so much time quietly stalking the Everglades. Some consider him a resident species of this special place. It's been his backyard, his classroom, and his personal refuge for as long as he can remember. Wild and untamed places like the Glades tend to make a man humble, to teach a man things other men never come to know. The Everglades have taught Jeff well. A down-to-earth, soft-spoken guy, Jeff never takes his days on the water for granted. That's just not in his DNA. See one? Is that something right there? Or is that just a mud? Throw it in there. It's mud, but I like it. Ooh. Oh, got him, man. It is a little something. Now, Jeff, I don't think you've ever caught one of these. This is no. called a snook. What, oh, is this a snook? That's awesome. Oh. I know. I, I, you know, it's your first one ever. Do I get them on the reel, or do I, you know? See, you got the eye for this stuff, right? In that muddy water. You said, yeah, you see a little push, and I'm like, yeah. I pulled right by it. I always tell, you know, like my guys, if you think you see something, Still throw it. Hook sets and casts are free. Make as many as you want. I like that say. You know, it doesn't hurt. Every cast is just a little more experience. Look at this, I even get a guy to take my fish off. It's wonderful. Oh, absolute monster too. Woo! Can't even put my thumb in his mouth. But that's again, that future, right? Future that is of our a sport. pretty fish. That's my next favorite after the tarpon. First one ever, right? Oh yeah. yeah. The murky water, the lateral line works as much as his eyes do. You know, everything's Feeling. about vibrations and, you know, honing in on, you know, anything pushing through the water. Picking up little, you know, little pieces minnows. of water displacement, you know, by the mud minnows and 
you know, little finger mullet stuff that's back here. I mean, they're beautiful, man. I love that little snook trick they usually say that works, you know? Right. It just paralyzes them. Remember when I was a kid, just letting them sit there and suck on your thumb. That's right. You know? I mean, Until I was, they're ready. Right? I didn't get to catch as many when I was younger, so when you did catch one, you just sat there and played with them and right. learned it. But that's awesome. Hey, nice little bike catch, buddy. Thanks, buddy. See you. There he goes. Got him there. Oh, oh one more. No, that's awesome. Not. Nice, man. <laughs> I just couldn't pass up that tree, they you know? I was bringing your, your area back into the keys here. You know, I'll take them every, all day long. Awesome. Get them all blowing out here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of them. I just, out. you know, one piece of structure out in the middle of a muddy bay up here at 10. Yeah. I saw one right in that, a little bit ago, right in there. Oh, oh there we go. There you, you got something there. Ooh. A little bigger? A little bit. A little bit bigger, huh? Decent fish. There you go. That was beautiful there. Oh, nice, so, man. Yeah, it's a great fish. Yeah, great fish. And bravo. And there it is. Sweet, dude. My oh, man, look at that. A little bit bigger than the other ones you got. Yeah. But, you know, look at Hey, that. you know, beautiful. Once again, all day long. He's a healthy yeah. fish. Very healthy fish. You know, he's close to that mature size, and he, he's at that size where they start switching over, you know, from oh. male to female. Oh, right. I think she's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and All right. there you go. All right, buddy, we'll see you later. Thank you. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats. Fish the legend. Yeti coolers. Built for the wild. By the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And by Abel Reels, crafted for chaos. That's my favorite part, right? If you look out to the right, man. Look at all the little rosette spoonbills, you know, the herons. Everybody's just kind of creeping in. They're all waiting the same thing we are, waiting for the tide to come up with the bait. You know, the coolest thing about what we do is the things that we get to see every day. You come out here and you spend a lifetime doing this and there's always something new to see. Dude, look at this little crocodile just chilling to our left. Little crockies, you don't want to muck with that one. Right there on one o'clock. Go ahead, go past him just a little bit over top. Past him to yeah. the left? Yep, right there. That'll work. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice slow, slower little toes. Oh. 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 Go right there. Right into the right. When they start doing that power roll. That tail kick. You know. Yes. That means their yeah. attitude is. That's right. They're aware. It's like uh, sensing when your wife, his tone is a little bit more than the, it normally should be. <laughs> is when I start to try to romance her and like, oh, mm -hmm. I tell you how beautiful you're looking. I love your haircut. That's, I haven't had a haircut in eight months. <laughs> I still like it. <laughs> oh, never there mind. Is. Oh, what we got? A little tarpon. That is a cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 get your fighting belt. Oh, oh. <laughs> and he's done. Look at this guy, dude. You need the gap? I don't even want to touch me so flawless. Ooh. And it's still crazy to think, right, that this fish right here, the ones we catch that are 80 and 100 pounds, is in there 30 years from now. Look how pretty that is. Like you said, not a scale out of place. <sighs> wow. That's absolutely pretty, isn't it? It is a beautiful. The small ones look like lures. Beautiful. Perfect. Sweet, dude. Okay, we got, well, that's what we came for. Let's, uh, I think we should go pull out and try to get a big fish. The very first spot we fished in the morning was up on the southern end of the Everglades National Park. It was the very first time I've ever been there. I lived here my whole life. You know, I've been guiding for almost 20 years in the northern end of the Everglades. And to be able to get together with Jared and for him to take me into this area that I'd never been to before was very special. And, and it was just such a pleasure to see. This, this is the birth grounds of the saltwater crocodile. It was a good time. But man, we saw some things out there that were just mind-blowing. Yeah, look at it. What is that thing? Is it a 
bird? Oh, it's a, you know what, dude? That's a, a croc with a bird. I mean, what else could it be? That's exactly what it is. A croc with a big bird in his mouth. That's pretty cool. That's one, I've never seen that. Right, that's what we're looking at, right? Wings, feathers, dinosaur. That's a big crocodile, dude. Look at the size of his head. Dude, he got himself a big old bird. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's Fine. insanely cool. Dude, Man. look at the size, look of, that the size of his head. Yeah, that's a real one right there. When I first saw him, I don't remember that log being there. Right. <laughs> I was like, I, yeah, at first I, that's what I thought it was a log in the water. It's a real one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear, by Mercury Marine, go boldly, Chica Lodge and Spa, live the legend, and by Smith, the experience is everything. I have a lot of respect for Jeff, fishing not included, just because of the guy he is. He's raised a bunch of kids on his own. You know, he has a, two daughters and a son. You know, to be able to fishing guide and support a family and always happy, you know, everybody that's ever fished with him just love fishing with him because he makes the day fun. And it's not fun just the fishing part of it, it's fun because it's, it's him. That's what makes the experience, is Jeff makes the experience. Here's your uh, weapon of choice. All right, thank you. You're welcome, man. I'm gonna switch glasses. This is kind of a low light igniter day. That's it, right. Put those low lights on, that's what I use. The magic lens. The bang bang lens. All right. Let's see if I can knock some rust off. When I throw fly rods, I throw them in the trees. When a triple tail comes behind, I just I'm don't let it feed. away. On the fly, on the fly, I just rip it one. out of his face. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a little fish up there in Jeff L11. Is it this one or that? I see the bubbles over there. Right up there, see 11 yep, o'clock. Go it. ahead, toss it right in there, buddy. A little right, and drop it. Tick, 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 keep going. Come on, baby, find it. Got him. Keep him tight, keep him tight, keep him tight. Here we go, I'm gonna turn you. Keep him tight so he kinda gets him. Okay. Back to the left a little bit. There you go, here he comes. Come on, baby. Come on up, come on up, there he goes. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. That, oh. <laughs> that was great, yeah. that Thank was you. killer. That was great, That was dope. good shot. Killer shot, actually. You can't beat the surroundings, you know? And it, it's, it's real easy to take for granted if you do this every single day, yep. you know? Yep. Sometimes I do, you know, but then I like sit back You have back that and, moment, yeah. Right, I look back, I get home and you know, I'm sitting on, on my couch or sitting on the porch looking out at the water and you're just like, man, I wanna go fishing again, right? This is where numerous, numerous world record bonefish have been caught. See him up, way up in there, left? It's tailing, Yeah, I see it, I see yep. it. They're going right to the right. Go ahead, buddy. They're going left. Go ahead. Pop, pop, pop. Wait. There he is. There he is. Oh, you still got him. Yep. Oh, yeah. Doing the dance. <laughs> it's, oh. a da it's a Legatki dance. Oh, my God. I can't Legatki believe it. Legatki dance, buddy. Good work, man. Thanks, sir. There he is. Yeah, boy. I think we found him, too. I Thanks, like sir. That. I like that. I like it. Oh, beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. Great. Beautiful. Look at the electric Great, blue on man. his tail, huh? 
here. Look at this, man. Look at the colors. Look. Right? Look at the colors in the blue. on the tail. Man, you know, when I was first started bone fishing, Jeff, there wasn't many, like, smaller size fish around. Like, the fish that average fish was, like, seven pounds. And now these little guys, I mean, from West Key West all the way to Biscayne Bay, are really coming in strong. Man, look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. Let's Thank go get you, a big sir. one. All right, let's go get a big one. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. By King Sailfish Mounts, for that once in a lifetime catch. Sea Deck Marine Products, your boat deserves Sea Deck. By Sweetwater Guide Beer, for those who show us the way. And by Evolution Platforms and Angler House Marina. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Hi, my name's Justin Lewis, and I'm the Bahamas Initiative Manager for Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Bonefish and Tarpon Trust was started over 20 years ago by a group of concerned anglers that noticed a significant decline in bonefish in the Keys. Since that time, we've learned a great deal more about bonefish, especially about their life cycles and factors that have led to their decline elsewhere. So one of the fascinating things Bonefish Tarpon Trust and our collaborators have started to figure out is the connectivity of bonefish populations between Florida, the Bahamas, and the wider Caribbean. So rather than being individual fisheries in each region, it's more of one big connected fishery. All the research that BTT has done over the years has also helped us figure out what the economic impact of the bonefish fishery is to Florida, to the Bahamas, Belize, Mexico, and the wider Caribbean. It's also helped us advocate for protecting vital bonefish habitat. For example, in the Bahamas, we recently helped get six new national parks put in place purely for the protection of bonefish in their habitats. BTT's tag recapture program in the Bahamas has found that bonefish have really small home ranges. We also know they'll travel long distances to spawn. When they travel long distances to spawn, they're heading to these places called pre-spawning aggregation sites. These are areas that are deeper protected bays that have easy access to the open ocean drop off and also easy access to the flats. When the fish congregate in these bays at dusk, they become really active. They'll start porpoising and gulping air. Once the sun sets, they're gonna head offshore en masse into thousands of feet of water, but they'll spawn in the, in the top 200 feet of the water column. And they spawn by a process called broadcast spawning. That's where multiple females will break off from the school, fall by um, several males. Once spawning occurs, the adults head back to their home range and the fertilized eggs are left to the current. Within a day or two, the eggs hatch into larval bonefish that we call leptocephalus. They're clear, eel-like looking larvae. They're gonna be out offshore, mixed in with other plankton for an average of 52 days. After the 52 days, they're gonna move inshore into shallow backwater bays where they'll actually metamorphose from that clear, eel-like larvae into a juvenile bonefish. To learn more and to make your voice heard, visit BTT.org. Show yourself, boys. They're in here. Right here, back here, back, right behind the boat, right behind the boat. Long strip, keep going, keep going, strip longer, strip longer, strip longer, strip longer. Keep going, keep going, got him. Got him, yeah. Got him, yeah. Uh, no, he's on, he's on, he's on. I know, I know. He's on, he's on. You're in the line there? I got him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> that's how. Well, that's how you do it. Good job, Jeff. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Show us what you're working with. Show us what you're working with. There, that's exactly what you're working with. Oh yeah. How do you measure success in the water? Some people will say it's the amount of fish you catch. In my eyes, it's, it's spending the time with the person on the map, you know, and, and fish are bonuses. And I think Jeff feels the same way. I'm, uh, I'm happy to call him a friend now. A little bit. Woo -hoo -hoo. Never gets old. Never. Still make my knees shake every time. Every single fish. And everyone's different. There it is. That's a beautiful, That's beautiful, right beautiful there. Beautiful shot. Little mustache. That's right. You know? A little 70s style. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't get enough. And people ask me, don't, don't you get burned out? Don't you get tired of going out there? 
no, I don't. You know, it's, it's new all the time. It's always something different. You, you, you never see it all. And once again, to do it with, you know, my beautiful girlfriend or, or you know, some of my closest friends, you know, Jared, just, it, it refuels me and, and gets me ready for the next grind. You know, it, it makes me a better captain. It makes me a better, you know, boyfriend. It makes me a better father, you know, and it makes my life complete. I'm lucky, blessed. <laughs> Good fishing in that wind, man. That shot over your shoulder. Woo! I think he's ready. Come here, butt girl. Gold Cup grip! Gold Cup grip! Oh, no, not Gold Cup. Oh! That's a failure grip is what oh. that's called. That's called, that's called epic failure grip. Good job, man. Sorry about that. That's, that's how it goes. Fault. I got the best out of her. I bow bossoed that kitten paw that kitten one. Paw. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Drop the talons on. Straight up. Come in. Straight up. <laughs> Comes.